Hi folks, this is the final prompt for your TEA final exam. Uh, just a note about this particular prompt, prompt number three. This one is very different than the previous two. For this prompt, you will not need to use any outside sources. Instead, you'll be talking about a personal experience that you've had. So in this case, you are allowed to use first person. Again, you are allowed to use first person for this particular prompt. Now, uh, as always, we need to take a careful look at what the prompt is asking to make sure that we successfully answer the prompt. All right, it says, in one well-developed paragraph, explain how your identity is reflected in the communication process. Think of a situation in which your identity was revealed to someone else through your use of communication. Situations involving friends, family, classmates, etc. can be applied. Your paragraph must include at least five of the key terms below. All right, let's break this prompt down. This prompt is going to focus on communication, which is something that we've spent a lot of time talking about this semester. So the communication process. Think about the communication model, which we talked about in Chapter 1. So the very first week of school, we, we talked about this idea of in order to effectively send a message to, to a receiver, you must carefully encode your information to your receiver. So that's what you're focusing on. You're focusing on the communication process. A major theme of this semester has been identity, whether it was the talking about communication or talking about divergent or talking about all the short stories and nonfiction articles that we've read. We've always tied it back to our own personal identity. So for this particular prompt, you are going to pick one situation. Be very careful. Do not pick general situations and talk about many different instances. Again, we are talking about one short, concise TEA paragraph, which should be at least eight sentences or more, uh, in order to successfully finish this prompt. But in, in such a short piece of writing, you need to think about one specific situation. Okay, once you pick your situation, you think about how it reveals your identity. Now we can start applying some of these terms. As you can see, I highlighted some of the terms that I want to include in my paragraph in blue. It should be super easy for you to get at least five, if not more, worked into your paragraph. Uh, especially when talking about communication, we're talking about the channel of communication, where it occurs, the sender, the receiver, the verbal pieces of information. All of the information uh, is going to be incorporated into your paragraph. So, first thing first, to brainstorm. We are going to select a specific communication situation that you will write about in your TEA paragraph. Then, you're going to write as much information as you can recall about the situation. So, looking at these prompts right here, this will help you to write out your brainstorm. So, we are going to be speaking to a specific person. My recommendation for this, um, have only one person that you're speaking to. So, to keep the situation really clear, really specific, pick one person. A friend. A parent a teacher. Pick one person to engage with in the communication situation that you're writing about. The next thing to think about is what is your objective? So in that situation, what were you trying to accomplish? What message were you trying to send? Uh, the next question is what was the outcome? So in order to fully understand the communication situation, we need to know the beginning, the middle, the end. And most importantly, how does this communication experience reveal your identity? So, uh, the final prompt here. How does this reveal your identity? What does this sh show about you? So, in your topic sentence, you're going to talk about the situation itself. That'll be your subject. And then how it reveals your identity is what you're proving. So, really, that revealing your identity is the most important part. Uh, I would circle the words that you know you want to use in your TEA paragraph. Uh, to make sure that you have at least five, but like I said, you should probably have more than that uh, to get a really thorough analysis of the communication situation. All right, the situation. I uh, This weekend, I decided to use a communication situation that was really relevant, really uh, fresh. So this weekend, my dad uh, was helping out at the speech tournament, and so I was talking to him about how it was going towards the end of the day. Uh, we were in the school cafeteria because that's where everyone convenes in between rounds. 
and I wanted to reveal the outcome of the preliminary rounds, but uh, because I'm a head coach, I get to know ahead of time, and I didn't want the students to hear because they're, they're not allowed to know. So tournament scores can be very complicated, and I didn't want to confuse my dad. I wanted to make sure that the, um, the conversation was clear. Okay, this is the situation. This is what happened. Now, why is that significant? This is my subject up here. Now, this is going to turn into my claim or my argument statement, which is going to go straight into my topic sentence. So it says, this communication situation represents my identity. So again, I'm going back to this identity. Super important. Because the subject was important to me. My delivery revealed a lot about what I value and what is important to me. And I was able to, sh uh, I was sharing and engaging in self-disclosure with someone important to me. So, speech, you guys know, that's, you know, a big part of my life and something that's really important to me is the students that I coach. So, that's my so what. That's what I'm going to prove in my topic sentence. Now, let's take a minute and let's have you brainstorm. Alright, next part, the topic sentence. Now that you've selected the subject that you want to address in this paragraph, develop a clear and arguable statement. Make sure that your claim requires proof that can be generated throughout your TEA paragraph. Again, here's the formula. But since we don't have any outside text, we have nothing, uh, we have one less component in the topic sentence. So the subject is the situation. So when discussing the results of the Buffalo Grove speech tournament with my father, this is my situation here. Now, what am I proving? I was able to reveal my own personal values while successfully com completing the communication experience using verbal communication. I was able to work in a vocab word there, and this is, this is my so what? Was revealing my values. Make that our claim statement. All right. So far, uh, hopefully now you have an idea of what, what the situation all right, folks, now let's take a look at the evidence and analysis section. Now, with your evidence and analysis, you still need three pieces of evidence that support your topic sentence and an explanation or an analysis statement as well after each piece of evidence. Now, because there are no direct quotes, we're not dealing with any punctuation or MLA citation or work cited, but uh, let's take a look and see uh, what I developed. Okay, first things first. I'm going to start at the beginning, middle, and end, and then work my way to the middle and end of the communication situation. Now, first things first, I, uh, we started with the channel of this message, which was the cafeteria. So I said the cafeteria, or the channel of this message, which is a familiar location for me to be in six days a week, was the only option to deliver this message. So here I'm using a vocabulary word, and I am explaining that that's where the, the message was delivered. Now, why does that matter? Because I spend so many hours in a school each week, many important conversations happen here, especially with my parents and my husband, who tend to only see me at school functions. So, the reason why I selected that particular location to deliver my message was uh, because that's where I spend most of my time, which is something that's really important to me. So, that's revealing my identity. Now, Let's develop this even further, looking at my second piece of evidence. To begin the conversation, I had to carefully understand my surroundings and avoid barriers, another vocabulary word, that might impede my father's ability to listen. So I'm thinking about the receiver of the message, the noisy cafeteria, the students who were not allowed to know the results, and constant commotion were examples of external interference that I needed to avoid if I wanted my message to be clear while I revealed how excited I was about the results of the tournament. So here I'm using more vocabulary and I'm revealing part of my identity, saying how excited I was uh, about the situation. So not only am I applying the speech terms, but I'm also applying the so what, why it matters and how it shows my personality. And the final piece of evidence. While I carefully encoded the message, so again another vocabulary word, to my receiver, another vocabulary word, I made sure I used the correct terminology and messages to discreetly share the results. Now why does that all matter? In order to do so, I did choose my words and use terms that only people who are familiar with, the spe with speech would understand. Since I spend so much time coaching this event, it did not take too much thought to encode the message. So 
because I wanted my, my receiver to fully understand what I was saying, I had to carefully choose my words. Again, revealing my so what. Now, let's scroll back up to the concluding sentence. Now, why does this all matter? What did I prove? Because I was able to successfully send my message to the receiver, so I'm making it clear that my message was successfully sent. That's important. I was able to reveal how important my students are to me and how excited I was that the speech team did well at the tournament. So I revealed my what was important to me, my values, and I revealed how I felt. Again, always going back to that topic sentence where my, I had my subject, which was Buffalo Grove Speech Tournament, and what I was proving is that this particular communication experience or situation with my father was able to reveal my per personal values. All right, folks, I hope that helps. Keep it simple. Keep it to one situation and clearly prove your point. Good luck.